Hey guys, Master Taken here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to wish you all out there a very happy Gohan Day. It is the 8th of May, or May 8th, so 5-8, which is Gohan Day. Now, it's a little bit disappointing, we know that we got the news update, there was no, like, super cool new event, or easy A's, or anything like that. So, I put out a tweet last night saying that I was going to start trying to do something a bit interesting for my own content for these upcoming couple of days and one thing that I think that Dokon really should start implementing which I, from a coding standpoint would be so so easy is whenever we get these celebrations or just even in the general span of like the week to week right because technically we're kind of always in a celebration but it would be very easy for them to add in missions to do categories or like you know like the red zone has the like once of every super type or one of every extreme type from a coding standpoint because those missions exist in the game already it'll be very easy to just copy and paste that code and just you just change the event and change the name of like the category team or keep the super or extreme um, I feel like that's something that Dokon could do that would be very easy, that would give people stuff to do, and they could quite easily bring out like a couple of those missions every week, and that would give people more things to do, because obviously, like, it is a mobile game, not everybody plays it for hours every day, but... Like, in the last, I was talking about it with someone in one of the comments on the post that I made on Twitter, in the last, like, apart from the events that have now come out today, because this obviously was yesterday, um, in the last 10 days, the only content that has released was the Physical Piccolo Extreme Z Battle, which is a 30-stage event that most people don't like doing and find tedious, um, and was to easy a a unit that's like three years old, right? And that was the only content we got in like 10 days. So, we are going to do our own little things here. Um, I'm going to do today for Gohan Day, tomorrow for Goku Day, and then the day after for Goten Day. Uh, we are going to do an event where we use a team that is entirely comprised of Gohan units. So, if this was to be a mission, this is what I suggested in my tweet and on the community tab post that I made yesterday. It would have been very easy for them for Goku, Gohan and Goten Day to make a mission in the game that essentially was like this, right? Complete a stage using a full team of Gohan. No, it would, the way they would word it in game, um, obviously, would be like units whose name includes Gohan, right? Um, if I can't get the key for you, I might as well do this, right? Drop the tackles, which didn't drop down. All right, well, at least we can do that. Um, so yeah, I feel like that would be a very, very easy thing to do, right? Just beat a stage. They could specify a stage, or it could be any stage, right? Because you know, the Goten team especially would be quite bad, but <laughs> be a stage with a team of six units who include the name Gohan, because it includes the name, right, as well, which is the best way for them to do these kind of, like, missions, right? Because if it includes the name Gohan, it means you can use any of the cards that are Gohan and somebody else, which I feel like we're going to have to do that for Goten, right, because... <laughs> Like, I actually looked at, like, all of the Goten cards in the game, and if you take out all of the ones that are Goten and somebody else, in terms of, like, well, there are no LRs, obviously, like, solo Gotens, but in terms of, like, TURs, there's probably, like, four or five, <laughs> and that's basically it. So, obviously, we'd have to have it kind of worded like that just to, um... Oh, so is stunned. Bit of a shame that we can't get the, uh key here we need to build up uh, a little bit here but um yeah so anyway i just thought this would be a fun thing to do right like i thought it'd be something cool that they could have added just as a little bonus thing to do so the typical like thanos meme you know fine i'll do it myself so for these three days of this gohan goku and goten day we are going to be running the uh, team challenge as if it was indeed a mission in the game i'll try and do a relevant event for like that team so, obviously, we all know, like, Gohan, feel how you want about him. Like, I like Gohan's character development, right? He never wanted to be a warrior. He wanted to grow up and be a scholar, and that's what he did. He grew up and became a scholar, became a family man. So, if you truly are a fan of Gohan, you should be happy. Like, you know, he got what he wanted out of life, right? But, that being said, like, apart from the appearance of Ultimate Gohan, like, you would probably say his most iconic moment or his most iconic like event i guess in dragon ball is obviously becoming the first super saiyan 2 and then defeating cell 
So that's why I thought we'd do the Red Zone Cell event. Um, like I say, they could uh, quite easily add these missions to things like the Red Zone because we've seen it before. Um, they've only done it with the final stages like Broly, Omega, Metal Cooler Core. Uh, where they put in those like all super types, all extreme types, be it in eight turns, like those kind of things. Those sort of things would be so easy to do, right? Like they could do that for every single red zone stage. Not at the same time, right? But just spread it out. Um, that's three missions right there that they could put into every single red zone stage. Um, and then when you think about the missions that they've added over time for like the legendary Goku event, the GT Goku event and the legendary Vegeta event, there are so many categories in the game now that it would almost be like just throwing a dart at a dartboard with a list of categories on it, right? Like, the game could just automate this stuff by itself. Um, and, you know, they could get someone to do it, but they could literally just make it be random. I know you could probably get some weird combos, but the game could just randomly pick a category to be the uh, mission for that week, right? So, like, Legendary Vegeta event, spin the randomizer and then it's like powerful comeback or well that's a really good category so it's not the best example but i mean the thing is even if we get something like earthlings with some of the buffs that we've had recently if we're only talking about the legendary events and not the red zone like those missions would not be impossible and obviously like they would be difficult for some people depending on your box but these missions they could quite easily when they add them in it's not like they're going to go anywhere right so at some point in the future, when your Earthlings box is better, then you would be able to beat that mission, right? And the one thing I saw people say, um, Truth brought this up, I don't know how actually like correct this is, right? But there's it would make sense, right? Because everything's kind of planned out in advance. There's only a certain amount of stones that they will give out during a celebration. So if they added a bunch of missions, the rewards would either be, would have to not be stones, or they would take those stones away from somewhere else. So like the example that he gave was for these Goku, Gohan and Goten Day missions that we have at the moment. Um, where, oh, not missions, sorry, the login bonus, where we're getting quite a lot of stones just by logging in. Um, that number of stones would be reduced if they added a bunch of missions that gave you stones. But, I mean, for me personally, as long as the missions weren't like super, super hard, I would rather have a few extra things to do in the game that give you stones as a reward rather than just getting them all for free like just by logging in because I know some people will say like oh no I just want to do no work and just get all the stones for free which is fine but if the trade-off is we don't get a bunch of extra missions and stuff I think I would probably prefer missions to getting the rewards like the Goku Gohan Day uh, login bonuses it's eight for today because it's Gohan um, but you also got five, right? It was five plus eight, tomorrow is five plus nine, the last day is five plus ten. They could have just made it eight, nine, and ten, and then these missions, like the one we're making up and doing here, right, where it's beat the whole thing with a team of Gohans, that could have given you that five stones that was the extra, right? So, I think something like that would be pretty cool. But, uh, right, so let's see. If I do this, that will drop down the physical orbs here it is kind of funny like even the support like we're not running a super support heavy team and obviously this team wasn't designed oh well, that's unfortunate this team wasn't designed to be like super super optimal um but yeah missing the uh 20 key with gohan fairly consistently is kind of annoying but again this is because we've restricted ourselves to using a team of only gohans uh there might have been maybe one or two other support unit gohans that could have been useful but Honestly, I wanted to pick ones that I just like to use as well. Like most of the Gohan units on this team are ones that I do like using. STR Ultimate Gohan can be a bit of a fraud sometimes because of the chance to guard. But at least once he does guard once, like even if you're floating him, he has guard on the next turn. Because right? he gets guard for four turns. So even if you float him off, as long as he guards on that turn, you know he's going to guard on his next appearance. Which makes it a little bit less scary, but... Obviously, it is always a bit of a concern when you're up against like a tech boss, and then you're not getting the uh, not getting the guard. Man, we got the additional with Gohan, but not the super. That's unfortunate. How much is this gonna do? Because he hasn't stacked a lot. Yeah, 200k. It's a bit a uh, bit spicy. We do have the backup of the heal from this Gohan as well, uh, when we can eventually pop his active skill. So that will be pretty useful. Um, I'll save the special beam cannon. Um, 
So let's do this. Not a lot of uh, <laughs> 20 key supers, unfortunately. When we decide to transform with the tech Gohongs, I want to let him stack a little bit more. Once we decide to transform with him, he does link up with uh, all my Gohan a little bit better. But again, this like, is obviously not supposed to be a showcase of like, look at this super optimal hybrid Saiyans team. It's just a fun, here's an all Gohan team uh, being a Cell related event because, you know, Gohan versus Cell. That's the way we love to see it. So let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, what would you like to see getting added for missions? Um, let me know what event would you like me to take on tomorrow for the all Goku team? And what event the day after for the Goten team? Obviously that team is going to have a few like Goten and Trunks units and stuff because like I said, there's not enough solo Goten units. And, I wait, and, like, and the way the mission should be implemented in the game, if they were to do that, like I said, I think should be like a character whose name includes Goten, right? So, yeah. go, uh, Kid Gohan, of course, having to be the one that takes the super, getting absolutely rocked. Um, although, this does give us this opportunity, which I haven't really, uh, I can't remember the last time I used you and actually transformed. So, let us, I wanted to get, I wanted to do, I wanted to pick up the orbs for Gohan before transforming with AGL Gohan, because he's going to change the orb field. And then obviously I do want him to attack, so what's Gohan's defense up to now? 500k. Um, yeah, let's do this first. And then let's go ahead and transform with AGL Gohan. Obviously leaving the active skill and intros and everything on for these videos because we want to celebrate Gohan today. So we want to see these animations rather than skip over them. But yeah, we could, we, uh, depending on the orb changing here, we should get a lot of HP back. So it doesn't screw me over. Okay, we well, kind of did a little bit. <laughs> uh, so we can get six orbs there or seven orbs there. Not really crazy, uh, but you know, get some healing, get the um, get the full 24 key. So should be GG for sale this turn. Um, I don't think I can't remember because his attack is weird. His super attack animation. I don't think it counts as a key blast super. I'm not sure because. Uh, Ulma Gohan here can obviously negate that if it was. But... Oh yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Get that in the video. We love to see that. 10.9 for AGL Gohan. Obviously nowhere near as high as we have been able to see him in the past, but still pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, the additional 8.7. I love his 12 key super, so I am very glad post EZA. Uh, we get these extra chances to additional with him because beforehand if you ever got him to transform his super saiyan 2 was just dropping a nuclear bomb on the enemy so you kind of never really saw the uh <laughs> you never really saw the um 18 key super so what are you up to now eight oh okay well that's with the support from this guy remember he gives a ton uh, in slot three he's giving 50 percent although i don't think the extra he's giving yet until he's actually locked in as a slot one character so uh, slot three sorry so we'll transform tech gohan here uh, there's one attack in slot one so i'm going to save the special beam cannon again because remember for tech Ulma gohan once you've transformed he only needs to get hit once and then he has his attack buff for the whole of the rest of the fight so we want him to get hit first plus if i pick up enough same type orbs we're getting the dokon attack here um so yeah i mean i could do that do that or shall i since we're not getting the oh no we can't get the uh yeah what i'll do i'll do this and then do this right because we can't get a super now with super saiyan 2 gohan but this basically guarantees we get the dokon attack he's locked in now getting the extra 30 percent support uh gohan should take very little damage from this right yeah <laughs> with the guard and the fact that he's now going to be at like close to a million defense with the extra support from super saiyan 2 gohan so go ahead and get the dokon attack here uh nine mil I mean, honestly, he takes his time to build up, but, like, the fact that Tech Gohan is still a usable unit now is kind of crazy, right? Like, he can still be very, very good. So, but, yeah, we'll uh, get the Dokon attack here, do some nice damage. Obviously, it gives us a full heal for the next turn. 12.5 million crit, and then we get the additional for 9.4 as well. So, I mean, Tech Gohan looking pretty good on this rotation. A lot of links with the LR Gohan. 
Uh, the 50% support from Super Saiyan 2, uh, Gohan in slot 3, obviously goes ham. And, uh, yeah, could take you out. So, I think we should be fully built up with uh, at least one of the Ultima Gohans here. Um, cool. This is a really good turn for hiding Ultima Gohan as well. Because <laughs> he's got his... Um, his guard obviously has run out by this point. He has 600k defense, which is good. But if he gets super attacked by... Uh, sell in slot one that would be really bad because I'm fairly sure does this cell this cell doesn't have a key bar super does he I actually can't remember um, probably would be good to know does it show you on here no be good if it did actually but oh well um, so we'll go ahead and grab these and then we can get five or six that doesn't give him the 20 key because I want to get 20 key ideally and then we can get AGL orbs for you. We're already at full HP and have used the Dokon attack. But yeah, so uh, I think we should be looking pretty good here. Uh, we never really got a turn of like a ton of orbs for like the megaton nuke for uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But that's fine. It gives everybody else uh, a chance to get some attacks in, I guess. I should have really used the special beam cannon here because we... Um, I'll get into that point now where we're going to be closing out the event. 14.3. And you got to think, for like all my Gohan, this is far from his best rotation as well, in terms of like attack links and things like that being active. Uh, 10 million on the additional. Um, it is good to see, like people have been talking about on the timeline recently, but with all my Gohan coming back for the first time, and people getting him who didn't have him before, or getting dupes who only had him at 55%, I have seen a bit of a turnaround in people's appreciation of the physical Ultima Gohan. Like, he's not without his flaws. I mean, we kind of... And again, this isn't an optimal team, right? But we saw some of them here where we struggled to get the uh, 8 like to 20 key. We struggled to get the 18 key super quite a few times. But um, I still think he is a very good and very fun unit. And obviously now mine is Rainbow full level 10 links. Uh, he is able to put in absolute work sometimes. So... Let's go ahead and get the uh, special beam cannon off here. Unfortunately, on this rotation, we now have no support. I think that last turn with the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan would have been <clears throat> pretty spicy. But if we do end up getting back to the other rotation again, that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan will be in slot 3. So, Plus, you know, Beast Gohan not playable kind of sucks, but this active skill still just looks so good. I love it. So, fire off the active skill. Get that action break, and then, yeah, between uh, the two Gohans here, we absolutely are cleaning out Cell. Uh, we can't get 20 key anyway, so we'll do this, so we can get STR orbs for you. And then, yeah, off we go. STR Ultima Gohan obviously giving an extra 50% defense, so Tech Gohan, just an unmovable wall in slot one here. <laughs> um, I don't, will he finish him off here? It's pretty decent attack stat, considering we have no attack support. But he did not. 9.8. I mean, again, remember, this is 12 key super. Right? That's pretty good. And we did the active skill this turn. So, yeah, we have the chance to do the additional. And we're effective against all types. So, see you later, Cell. So, there you go. That was the all Gohan team to celebrate Gohan Day. I do have one extra special little thing I thought I would do that would be quite fun for these three days as well. So, coming up as my second video today, I am going to be doing a tier list of all the Gohan cards in the game. So, again, tomorrow I'll be doing Goku and on the 10th I'll be doing Goten, which that one is going to be quite short. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so keep an eye out for that coming up later on the channel today. It's not like a super serious tier list because, obviously, some of the units are quite old. Um, I'm only including, like, TURs and LRs as well because, you know, especially for Goku, we'd be here all day trying to do that list. But there you go. That is the All Gohan team taking out Cell. I've uh, got a Gohan tier list coming up later today. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day today. Enjoy Gohan Day. And uh, obviously we'll be back again for Goku-centered activities tomorrow on the 9th for Goku Day. So actually, if you've made it this far in the video, let me know down below what is your favorite Gohan moment in all of Dragon Ball. It can be from Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, one of the movies. Let me know down below what is your favorite Gohan moment in all of Dragon Ball. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.